Welcome everyone to Homestead Tessie, where every day it feels like coming home. All right, so I'm super duper excited. On Free Cycle, a lady was giving away her whole collection of rolling pins and guess what? Kerosene lamps. So we're headed in the car now because we only have 20 minutes to get there and I'll show you what I got. Anyhow, it, when it came out posted, it was an hour long. So I thought of it for sure I missed out on it, but she said I can have it. So she's gonna meet me outside and we're gonna go and pick it up. I was so excited, I said that it was an hour away. It's not an hour away, it's only 15 minutes away. But when they posted it, it took a whole hour before I seen it. And I was so afraid that I didn't get it. Free cycle was something that I used to do all the time and they don't hardly ever use it anymore. Okay, I gotta turn my camera off because we're almost there. Let me see when we get home what it looks like. I cannot believe it. So many times I talk to you guys and say about free cycle. In our area, there just isn't much free cycle anymore, but I got it. And I am super duper duper excited to show you what I got. Okay. She said, you are right on it. <laughs> and I was. Take a look. Oh my word, take a look what I got. Okay, so I'm gonna just show you, I have to clean it up really good and I'm going to use them, I am going to display them, I am gonna have so much fun. Some of them are very, very old. So we have all of these rolling pins. Tell me what some of these are used for and take a look. Isn't it gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous? Okay, so we have all these rolling pins. It was her collection. She was an older woman and I just told her, I said, you don't know how much you blessed me. And then an antique bread bowl is what she called it. An antique bread bowl and it has the stamping on the bottom. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Hubby said, I cannot believe we got it. Cause I saw it on the email and I was like, oh, it's gonna be too late. It's gonna be too late. It's gonna be taken. And Hubby's like, Tessie, if we get it, we're going right away. And I said, I'll come right away. We jumped in the car, guys. I'm telling you, I got myself ready in less than 30 seconds. We jumped in the car and I am just so happy about it. When the email came up, I wanted to share with you this because I just think this is, you know, I'm always saying about things being a God thing and things, you know, the Lord doing these things and the Lord doing that. You know, that's my personality. You know, a lot of people would say, oh, it's just coincidental. But I wanna share with you a little something. When I, when, before the email came up, I actually was looking at cottage, cottage type, it's called cottage core, so it's cottage things. And, and I love having cottage-like things. And then this came up, and it, stuff like this never comes up on Free Cycle, like never. I mean, in the 15 years that I've been in part of Free Cycle, Free Cycle is a free platform where people give things away. Every town and every city has it. But they just, I don't ever see stuff like this. And this was just absolutely amazing. But this isn't just what I got. I got something else. I'm gonna go ahead and put these away right away. All right, I got this. I've never seen one like this before. It is a kerosene lamp. So gorgeous. Look at it. I'm so careful, I do not wanna break it. Beautiful. So I'm gonna put this on my kitchen table and then I'll come back to you and show you the next thing I got. All right, then she gave me this one. So isn't that pretty? We we'll go ahead and fill it up with some oil. So I was ready to edit the video and I was saying goodbye to everyone because I thought, well, my video is over. I wanted to show you what I got at Free Cycle from this woman. And then I was in the middle of 
editing my video and I got an email on Free Cycle. It was the same woman. And you won't believe what she gave next. This was truly, well, it's unbelievable. Wait till you see what it is. All right, everyone, I cannot believe what I got. We have her whole collection of bowls. Now, I'm not just talking bowls, I'm talking bowls. We have her whole collection of these beautiful bowls. So I'm just gonna show them to you one by one because they deserve a video of their own. Take a look. We have this one. They are in exquisite condition. They are beautiful. No nicks or chips or anything. We have this one. And this one. And this one, y'all, I'm in heaven. Then we have this one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wash them up really good. Look at this one. She said they are designer made. This one. There you go, everyone. Now, what am I gonna do? Well, I decided that I'm going to go through my kitchen cupboards, get rid of over half of what I owned, stuff that I'm never gonna use, so I have plenty of room for these beautiful bowls, which you know I will use. So I'll meet you over on the kitchen floor because we gotta finish this up. All right, here we are. Thank you for joining me on the kitchen floor. This part of the video is extremely embarrassing. Now, my kitchen is really small, but it's not as small as some people's, but it is fairly small. I only have the cupboards behind me to put dishes as far as cookware. Well, it's full. I did get this, and this is to help put all of your pans and kettles on. So we're gonna go ahead and see if this works. But I'm getting rid of over half of what's in here. I have things from my mom, I have things from my grandma, I'm keeping that. <laughs> I haven't got to the point where I'm getting rid of things that are sentimental to me, but I have a lot of stuff. And I'm really trying to declutter a little bit. So I need room for those bowls because those bowls are amazing and I love them bowls. We're gonna open these cupboards up and I want you to watch with excitement and I want you to watch with motivation I don't want you to watch with a critical spirit because it's not very pretty. I take pride in my home and keeping the surfaces of everything clean, but yeah, it's rough. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to put this over here. We're going to get rid of the items and then we'll see what we have left. The older I get, the harder I have of getting rid of items. When we were first married, I was always getting rid of stuff. I had no problem getting rid of stuff. Now, since the death of my parents and the death of my husband's parents and the death of grandma, I can't get rid of nothing. And sometimes in life, you just got to, you know, you got to do what you got to do. You can't keep everything. So I'm going to get rid of everything that doesn't have any attachment to me at all, which I always have attachments to everything. <laughs> okay. Some of you can relate and some of you can't. My mom was a minimalist, somewhat. I always thought she was, but then when we cleaned out her estate, you know, she had a lot of stuff. All right, here we go. I'm kind of stalling because I really don't want to open these up and show the world my hidden secrets. But just remember, these are the only cupboards I have for cookware, okay? So, <laughs> so bad. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and believe it or not, I don't break a whole lot of items. So this was mama's. I could have a two hour video on just naming everything that I have. Like this was given to me, like anyhow, I can't do that. But let's hope that I can get rid of enough of stuff that I have more room in here.
Everything has an attachment, people. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a laundry basket where I'm gonna put everything I'm getting rid of. You guys remember these? This was mom's too. Okay, here we go. No more talking. No more talking. So I hope this thing helps me, and I think it will. My cupboards are different from the 1960s, so it's not very tall. My cupboards are kind of short, but they are fairly deep. What I'm going to do is, I am so glad that I got my canning garage. No, I'm not going to hoard more in the canning garage, but all of my big bowls, I can go ahead and put out there so I can keep my really, those nice, beautiful ones, beautiful ones, the pottery ones in here. But what I'm going to do is I have a shelf. So I'm going to go ahead and put everything on the top shelf that's narrow. So my roasting pan and all of these items I'm going to put on the top shelf. As I was working on this, I just wasn't very happy with the idea of, of putting those antique bowls in this really old cupboard. But I didn't know what else to do at the time. So I'm doing this voiceover to let you know that I'm actually not putting those bowls in the cupboard. And I want you to see that I am cleaning the cupboards out really good and I'm putting everything in organized. But no, those beautiful bowls aren't going in there. So what did we do? I'm glad you asked because let me show you what we made. Well, I thought this video was over, but hubby and I came with a perfect idea how to display these bowls and I want to show you this at the end of the video. This display and look how pretty it is. So there is our display with an old bookshelf that I had books on. One, two, three, smile. Uh, in the background, just like. There we go. One, two, three, smile.